Hi, Dave from Fouled Up Waterfowlers. Today we're going to talk to you about building a blind. What I'm going to do is build a blind that I can use in the field or use on uh, ponds or the shore of the river. And I'm going to make it so it's lightweight and portable. That I can stick it in my uh, honker hauler decoy trailer, be able to pull it out and carry it a couple hundred yards as far as I need to and set it up. I'm going to keep it as low profile as I can and keep it well camoed. I'm making it with a wood frame, seven foot long. Uh, four feet high although they'll come in as an a-frame so the uh, the actual height of it will be less than four feet will be closer about three feet three inches somewhere in there um, so let me get to it and uh, show you what I got going on the, the supplies cost me 24 bucks not including the netting um, and then I had some stuff around the garage I'm going to use uh, to help me with this project some raffia grass and some uh, spray paint. But as you see, I got the uh, frame laid out. It's the seven foot long, four foot, four inches tall. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, uh, putting it together, put the screws in to tie it in. I like when I do my camouflage to have the uh, lightest colors closest to the surface and the darkest cl colors closest to the core. So that's what we'll be doing here. All right, we're on to the next phase here. I have the frame behind me, it's painted, and now I'm going to cover it with some camouflage netting. It's the stuff I'm using I really, really like. It's lightweight, tear resistant. It's in duck blind camo, has a mud brown back, duck blind camo on the front. Um, it's a leaf cut, so it has a lot of definition to it. I'm gonna pull it out onto my frame and staple it down. I want it pretty tight. It is, you know, it's cut so that you can see through it, which is what I want. After I have that on there, then I'm going to lay down some uh, gra raffia grass on top of it. One of the reasons I like using a wood frame is I can staple it, keep it very taut. This uh, netting accepts stapling really well. When putting these uh, staples in, I like to put some straight, some sideways, some straight, some sideways, so that there's not a consistent tear point for this. Okay, now what I want to do is show you how I put these uh, braces on. I used a carriage bolt, and they just swing out and allow it to set. There's two on each side. Let me let me show you what they look like. Uh, Aperture Outpost duck blind camo netting, the light tear resistant uh, leaf pattern camouflage netting that I just really love. I've stapled it to the frame and to open this up again just to show you how lightweight this is uh, that's one hand picking it up. Here's the I always have a little extra netting I like to keep over on the top so that I can uh, fling it over my head or fling it onto the frame behind me. Here's the braces I was talking about very simple design they're just a carriage bolted. Now I can put this as, uh, at, a, at a steep angle and keep myself really low, or I can bring it up. This is the back side of the A frame blind I'm building. This side here has some raffia grass on it. I got about uh, less than half a pound, maybe a third of a pound of grass put on here. Typically when you buy raffia grass, you're buying it in two pound uh, compressed bundles. That's what I sell it in. So this is what about a third of a one pound looks like dyed. There's four colors on here, natural, a, uh, a deep brown, almost a purple, a uh, tan, light tan, and green. I always use the four colors, mix it in, because when I get to the field I'm gonna hunt, I will grab other debris, throw it up onto the netting, the raffia will help it stick in there, and the colors I got in here now really will accent the colors there are in the field. So it really does help it blend in quite well. I do the same thing on my uh, coffin blinds and such too. Wanted to take a moment and let you see what it looks like inside the fouled up waterfowlers A-frame portable blind. Another thing I really like is this here gun stand. This is from a friend off of Twitter, PRT Products. We're going to be selling them on fouledup.com in the next week or so. So why don't you check them out there. 24 bucks, hold your gun up out of the mud, uh, 
keeps the barrel clean, keeps the barrel pointed in a safe direction. You don't have to wrestle around looking for the gun or waiting for it to slip off the, the uh, side of the blind. Makes it easy to pick it up, put it to your shoulder. I hope this had some value to you. I hope it gives you some ideas on blinds you can make and get yourself a better hide for this upcoming fall. I'm sure I'm going to be able to shoot some doves and some ducks out of the prairie pothole region of North Dakota this fall. And I hope I look over and see you hunting out one too. So check out filedupwaterfowlers.com. Be good, be safe, and have a great hunting season. Look at you sitting there.